floating heads and the ghoulish headshot. What am I talking about? Well, let me show you this photograph. As you can see, it's an actor wearing a black t-shirt against a black background. It's in black and white and their face is quite white. So all you see is a floating head on a black background. These are very common in musical theatre headshots but also you see lots of actors use this kind of headshot. There's a couple of issues to think about here. Do you want to be projected and seen as though you have a floating head? Is it too contrasting, too dynamic to see for the person viewing the photograph to spend time looking at you? So, how do you combat this? Because wearing a black shirt or jumper against a black background can be a nice shot, providing the headshot photographer photographs it correctly. How do they do this? Well, they need to have a little bit of light on the backdrop to separate you from the backdrop. Or alternatively, they need to backlight the actor. With a little bit of backlight, it separates you from the backdrop and takes away that floating head feeling. Remember, your headshot only has seconds to impress the person looking at it. And the person you want to impress generally is the cast director. Try to think about your headshot in a way that irons out and takes away any possible reason for a person viewing it to skim past it. We want them to stop and look at it and say, wow, what a great headshot. So be wary of the floating head principle and if your photographer is going to do this for you, make sure they photograph it correctly.